it began like this. My best friend introduced me to the eating disorder spectrum and it was like a most fascinating drug. I became a slave to wanting the impossible. How is it that this post-capitalist society at this particular time is producing women who feel that they don't quite measure up, who are feeling that they're not in, who are feeling that the only way in which they can be successful and perhaps uh, have some mode of control over their lives is to become the best at what the culture is asking them to become? I'm very scared to wake up. When I wake up, I, I know the whole day will be the same circle. Where do I begin to find my place in all this space? Where are the lines to help me find my way? The person's sense of identity as a person becomes, the eating disorder gets collapsed onto that so that it's inseparable. It's a dismissiveness. It's like the, the image of self is gone. Part of what kept me from getting better was not even wanting to let go of that identity of being anorexic. Because if I let that go, who was I anymore? They're reclaiming a history that they almost forgot because you're in so much pain. When you bring that history back, this is my, this is me. This is what happened to me. It's a story about your life that brings the pieces back together. It gives a picture back. Recovery isn't, you know, it's ongoing and you have good days, you have bad days, you move closer and closer to health. But I think the making of this film has really facilitated a shortcut to healthier life for me. Anorexia might be getting the best of you at this particular time, but we have a great confidence that you're going to come back to us. The divide between me and the outside subsides.